Hello and welcome back to our continuing adventures in the Let's Defend platform. Today we are going to tackle the last remaining malware analysis exercise. That being the malicious dock. Uh, normal uh, warning as well has kind of come uh, standard with these exercises. If you do decide to pull down the file, do be aware that it is malware. So don't be surprised as to whether or not if your AV ends up flagging. Uh, most of the stuff... Well, yeah, they don't really include hashes, do they? But I guess if you're watching my video, I mean, check the notes in the video description. It contains links to the... Uh, runs for virus total, hybrid analysis, and any dot run. If you want to follow along, that way you don't actually have to pull down the file unless you want to do your own static analysis, maybe in your own sandbox, something else along those lines. So, okay, we have a Word doc, and it's set up similar to the two previous exercises. Five questions to answer. So let's see what we have. What type of exploit is running as the result of the relevant file running on the machine? Take a stab that it's... Oh, could be wrong. I just can't highlight the section I want. <laughs> uh, okay, well, let's give it a shot. Try submitting the CVE number. Nope. Okay. Hint. Interesting. Dot 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 or xxx dot y y y. Okay. We have analysis. Uh, still, well, oh, never mind. There she be. So another word doc that tries to fire off the equation editor. Oh boy. Of course, I did not get much of anything with this, so what other hits do we have, potentially, going backwards in time? Hmm, that's much better. This goes all the way back, oh, last month. At least that's the point of recording this video, but that's fine. I have forgotten when these were put out, so, but this gives us a little bit more. We actually see the equation editor going out, hitting that c-bc.com, and actually giving us ARO. All right. The result of the analysis. Oh. Well, crap. There we go. Let me guess. It's going to be 20, oh, it's 2017. What? Kind of sets that out. Hey, we got one right on the board. So basically, I am pulling that from the virus total page. It's one of the bulleted items after the hash and then the file name. Usually, if there's a CVE attached to it, that's usually the quickest way to go about finding it. It could be elsewhere in the uh, various tabs. Executes dropped file. 
Hey, look, crowdsourced IDS rules. <laughs> oh. I find that funny, in case you haven't watched the previous um, exercise regarding a PowerPoint file. I think even though the runtime is only about 30 minutes on that, in order to go through and digging, it was a couple of hours just to find that one particular aspect. So much so to the point that I was contemplating actually taking and downloading the PCAP from either hybrid analysis or any.run, standing up a snort VM and basically having snort process. <laughs> The PCAP, in order to see as to what would shake out. Okay. What is the name of the malicious software downloaded from the internet as a result of the file running? With no hint. Oh, I love no hints. Who doesn't? So this has been seen before, correct? Let me guess. Okay, so this has got it. It's malicious. Hooray. Let's try taking that SHA-256 and dumping that in here. And I think I remember seeing that in the analysis. So this gives us what? Agent Tesla? Does it want a specific name? What is the name? Nanocore, Nanocore, Nanobot. Did we get a name from the run? Loader, exploit, blah, blah, blah. Let me guess, this will lead us right back to the same portion. Yep. Hmm. Bit rat. Really? Interesting. Oh, let's try. Agent Tesla. Bit rat. Anocore. Hmm. I don't suppose it'd be just as simple as saying ARO dot EXE. Uh, of course not. Okay, IP address in the port that it tries to communicate with. That port would be 80. Maybe. Yep, okay, like that one. What is the exe name of it? It drops after it runs. Oh, that one probably going to be aro.exe, according to the sandbox run. More tea. Yay! <laughs> oh, we're just stuck with questions one and three. What type of exploit is running is the result?
type of exploit. The equation editor kind of exploit. Well, while hunting through for answers to questions one and three, I managed to find answer to three. Name of the malicious software downloaded from the internet as a result of the file running. Back to the virus total uh, analysis page underneath relations. So it's pretty much the c.bc.com and then basically it's just the jan2.exe. Uh, then we'll go back to just trying to figure out that last question. The type of exploit is running as a result of the relevant file running on the victim machine. Hmm. Okay, take <laughs> 3,762. Um, after talking with the people over at Let's Defend, apparently there might have been a spelling mistake in the check answer section for question one. So I was told to that they apparently made a correction and I should try so again. Ah, okay, yes. They also did say that they were going to update the hint. So that does really just kind of tie into the aspect that it's going to be a portion from the virus total results. Wasn't there a rtf.exploit that was... Uh, where did I get it? Okay, yeah. It's like clam AV. Really? That's the only one? Oh, I thought there was at least a couple of them. This is now, like, the next day in terms of me recording this. <clears throat> I could have swore that it wasn't. Well, before we start jumping down that hole, let's try RTF exploit. And there we go. <laughs> Oh, it happens. It happens. I, I think I probably ended up wasting two, three hours yesterday. But, I mean, on the plus side, I was running through <laughs> researching the uh, bejesus out of CVE 2017-11882. <laughs> Oh, cripe. Oh, well, but that effectively solves that. And I guess effectively better that we nip this in the bud before. Uh, I wonder if there's been anybody else that's gone through and done it. I guess if you have, and this ended up putting you off of doing the exercises, yeah, give it another try now. I think that... Uh, Everything seems to be all set and ready to go now, but so there we go. Um, well, just a disjointed mess. <laughs> oh, that's like the video time is going to be like 15 minutes, and this entire endeavor's been—I wouldn't say 24 hours, but we'll say 12 hours of jumping back and forth. But regardless, it's the weekend. I'm not working right now. <clears throat> Everything else is getting done, so it's all good. Um, yeah, so there we go. <sighs> Malicious doc. Analyze the five questions answered. Bing, bang, boom. The last malware analysis section done. So with that, uh, we will end up going back to... Just make sure nothing else has been added. Nope. 
Okay, so I'll go back to uh, the main alerts that are listed. So if we go back as far as we can, so we'll maybe this will hopefully be the last February 14th exercise. SQL injection detected. But mm, I get server again. Uh, apparently the February 14th was let's beat up on the get server day. But regardless, okay, so that'll finish this all off. I'll see everybody in the next video.